Good day, grade 10s. Now that we have covered mass mass calculations, our next section in stoichiometry is to learn how to do volume volume calculations. Volume to volume stoichiometry. If we know both the concentration and the volume of a known substance, we can calculate the number of mole of that chemical. Then, by using the mole ratio relationship from the balanced chemical equation, we can calculate the number of mole of an unknown substance, and if we are then given the concentration or the volume, we can work out the other, either the concentration or the volume of the unknown substance. Let's look at an example. What must be the concentration of a sodium hydroxide solution if a 20 ml sample of the solution requires precisely 15.48 ml of sulfuric acid of concentration 0 0.06784 mole per litre to completely react with it. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what's reacting in the equation. So we'll see here that sodium hydroxide is reacting with sulfuric acid. So we can write a chemical reaction based on that. It's an acid-base reaction, so you get an acid reacting with a base which will form a salt plus water. You've got your hydroxide here, so your water is going to get formed and your salt is going to get formed here. This needs to be balanced, so we've got two sodium hydroxides and two water molecules. Once that's done, we put the information that we know from the question. So volume of sulfuric acid is 15.48 mil. Very important that you change this into litres. That's one of the biggest places where people make mistakes. Volume must be in litres. The concentration is 0 0.06784 molar. So pop that in directly underneath so you know that it relates to the sulfuric acid. The sodium hydroxide, we know the volume is 20 ml. Again, convert that to litres and we're trying to work out the concentration. So with all of this information here with C and V, we can now calculate the number of mole of sulfuric acid that reacts by multiplying concentration by volume and we'll get an answer of 0 0.001050 mole. We can now use this and the mole relationship here or the mole ratio between the sulfuric acid, so one mole of sulfuric acid reacts with two moles of sodium hydroxide. We use to work out the number of mole of sodium hydroxide, it's unknown over known times the amount that we've just figured out here. So we've got a 2 to 1 ratio, the unknown here is 2 and the known is 1. So 2 over 1 times this equals 0 0.002100 mole. Look at your uh, mole ratio here, it's a 1 to 2 relationship. So your answer here of sodium hydroxide needs to be double the answer or bigger than what you've just calculated before for sulfuric acid, and it is, so that's correct. So we'll now use this number of mole here, and we can calculate the concentration using C equals N on V. We've got the volume up here, so we can calculate the concentration. We'll get an answer of 0 0.1050 molar. Double check here that this is what you were trying to work out. Concentration equals, and we've worked out the concentration. So there's a question for you to have a go at here. Have a read, pause the video, and I'll pop up the answer. So volume of potassium hydroxide equals 60.0 mil. I'm going to go through the work solution of that now, but if you got it right, you don't need to watch any more of this video. Okay, so breaking the question down, it's wanting to find out the volume of a solution of 0 0.200 mole of potassium hydroxide, which reacts with 20 ml of a solution of 0 0.300 molar sulfuric acid. So first thing is to write your balanced chemical equation. It's an acid-base reaction to produce a salt plus water. It's an acid with an hydroxide. 
So that's a balanced equation there. I've already balanced it for you, so we're right to go on. Look at the information the question gives you, the known information. The volume equals 20 mil, which you must change to litres. And the concentration is 0 0.300 molar. Your concentration of your unknown is 0 0.200 molar. And we're trying to calculate the volume. Again, we've got the C and the V of the known substance, so we can calculate the number of mole. Number of mole equals concentration times volume, so that equals 6.00 by 10 to the negative 3 mole. So we'll take this information here. Again, we'll use the mole ratio between the sulfuric acid and the potassium hydroxide to calculate the number of moles of potassium hydroxide, which will equal the unknown over known ratio, which is 2 divided by 1 times the number of mole. And we get an answer of 0 0.0120 mole. If you have a look here at your mole ratio, 1 mole of sulfuric acid will make 2 mole or double the amount. So this times 2 equals this. So you've got the correct answer. Use your number of mole here and you know the concentration. So you can calculate the volume of the potassium hydroxide. Volume equals number of mole divided by concentration, which equals 0 0.0120 divided by 0 0.200, which equals 0 0.06 litres, which you can convert into mils to get 60.0 mil. Alright, grade 10s, again, as you saw from these examples, you always need to look at the number of moles. So even though this time we are looking for volume to volume calculations and we're using concentrations, remember you always compare moles with moles in a balanced chemical equation. Now please remember to do lots of examples in the assessments and make sure you can do these questions. Thanks, grades 10. Hope you have a great day.